Don't blame anyone this Lent, blame yourself. On this eleventh day of our Lenten observance, the Lord wants to teach us that as the food chain and food web describe how creation is interconnected physically, there is also the spiritual dimension that connects man and creation to its creator God, such that any problem in one part can upset the whole system. Only those with deep spiritual insights can understand this. It is on these aspects that Jesus' teachings cannot be called a teaching for Christians alone, but a universal teaching that anyone, no matter their creed or religion will find interesting and obliging. If this is difficult to understand listen attentively to the word of God in Luke 6, 36-38. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button to follow Come Let's Pray Catholic Devotion and hit the bell button to get a notification whenever we upload a new video. Jesus said to his disciples, Be compassionate as your Father is compassionate. Do not judge, and you will not be judged yourselves. Do not condemn, and you will not be condemned yourselves. Grant pardon, and you will be pardoned. Give, and there will be gifts for you a full measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, will be poured into your lap, because the amount you measure out is the amount you will be given back. Points for Reflection 1. Being compassionate, not being judgmental, not condemning others, pardoning and tolerating others are laws of social justice set by God to harmonize creation that is colored by different creatures. And so unlike Adam and Eve our first parents, who transfer blames of their disobedience, we are called today to blame and accuse ourselves for the failings in the world, in our nations, societies, families, and individual lives. Two. When the prophet Daniel was beset and downcast with the desolation of his people, pondering on the length of years they must remain as exiles as revealed by the Lord to the prophet Jeremiah, he went down on his knees, fasted, prayed and begged God for forgiveness of his sins and that of his people. He prayed, We have sinned, we have done wrong, we have acted wickedly. We have betrayed your commandments and your ordinances and turned away from them. We have not listened to your servants the prophets, who spoke in your name to our kings, our princes, our ancestors, and to all the people of the land. Task, ask the Lord for pardon now, telling him to have mercy on you and on the whole world, that God may take away the present plague that besets the world now and that also besetting you with the words of Psalm 79, 9 saying, Help us, God our Savior, for the glory of your name, deliver us and forgive our sins for your name's sake. Amen. This prayer reflection is brought to you by Come Let's Pray Catholic Devotion an online praying family that offers healing and liberation through Catholic teaching, meditation, and prayer. Subscribe to this channel now to be notified whenever we upload a new video. God bless you.